They call the world's most persecuted people. The Rohingya are predominantly Muslim ethnic minority who mostly live in Rakhine state in majority Buddhist Myanmar. The UN says their persecution in 2017 was a textbook example of ethnic cleansing, and the UNHCR says that the Myanmar government has been killing men, torturing children, raping women and burning entire villages to the ground, forcing them to flee to Bangladesh. As hundreds of thousands of Rohingya flee, Bangladesh has left their borders completely open. Many of those Rohingya are living in Kutupalong extension site, now the world's largest refugee camp. I have covered war, I have covered violence throughout my career, but I have never heard of anything like that happening to human beings. The first time I arrived uh, to the camps, it was unlike anything I've experienced before. It was pain and misery and trauma on a scale so large that it was almost unfathomable. The first time I went, we met a woman named Rajuma Begum, and um, Rajuma had suffered something so horrible that I, I've never encountered anything like it before. Um, Rajuma um, had been in her village of Tula Toli in August of 2017. When the village came under attack, she had been taken to a house by members of Myanmar's military. Her child, her baby, had been taken from her arms and then thrown into a fire in front of her face. And um, then she was, she was gang raped. And when I heard that, I just didn't know how to react. I didn't know what to do. But when she was recounting what had happened to her, she had lost several members of her family, her mother and several siblings. And at one point during the interview, she started crying. and screaming out for her mother, her mother who could no longer be there or protect her. I feel like I'm burning on the inside. 